Hey guys, so uh, here's another video. So, um, what I've got here is a, if I can focus on it, a bell horn. 40 millimeter padlock, I believe it says 40 millimeter. Uh, yeah, 40 millimeter 18 series lock. And it says on it, if I can get this to focus. Uh, patented locking construction, 18 series, 40 millimeters, rest resistant construction, blah, blah, blah. And it says 16 pin tumbler mechanism, high security cross keys, and whatnot. So, um, now I wouldn't say this lock is high security, but I would say it is high quality. Uh, tolerances on this lock are fairly tight, actually. Uh, so, if I just tighten, you know, I just focus on this, see if I can do that. Uh huh, there we go. So, well, this lock isn't too hard to pick. It did take me quite a while at the first time, but, uh, anyhow, this lock, they lied. It's not a 16 pin, it's a 12 pin lock. I tried this, three pins on each side, three times four, you guys can do the math, it's 12. So, anyway, thought I might as well just show you the bidding on it. Let's just move the lighting a little bit so you can see it a little bit. So, there's the first set. If I can show you that. There we go. The second set. Third set. Fourth set. So, I'll show you this again. Key. Works. So, well, uh, the goal of this is not to show that the key works. In fact, I'll show you the key doesn't work uh, when it's not all the way in. I'll show you guys how to get into this without a key. Now, without a key, you could definitely use those dead, dedicated cruise form picks. But, funny enough, uh, strangely enough, what I found was that it doesn't work um, on this lock. So, <clears throat> what I found did, that did work really well is um, a double ball pick, which you use for a uh, double side wafer lock usually, and a small bumpy pin tension wrench. So, with a bumpy pin tension wrench, I would just stick it right into the keyway. And the way I would do it is I would stick in my tin, my my pit ball pick. Now I just feel for the first binding pin. So when you just run your pick along, you'll feel something bump up. So I'm pushing up towards the top here, and I feel something bump up. So just push up on that pin. You see that pushes down again. Try to push up. That's springy. That's okay. Now I'm going on the other side. Try to stick this in again, and push. You see how that's pushing my pick up. I just push, clicks into place. And I go on the other side, feel the bump, push up on it, it clicks into place. Now I'm going to go ahead and run over this side again. Okay, got that set, that set. Then you come on this side, it's all springy still. We're going to come along these pins, one of them's binding, push down on it, and it's solid, it's not wanting to move, so I'm not going to touch it. So I'm going to go over here. One of the pins is pushing up, so I push down on it, click, then I come down here, and again a binding pin. This is very solid, but there we go, push that back up to place, and eventually we will get this open. So, bear with me here. You just keep doing that to all sides, all four sides, and what do you know? It's open. So just to show you, if I just focus this, focus onto this. Sorry guys, I'm using manual focus, because autofocus isn't working. So there you go. Oh, well, I just locked it back up, but just to show you, it is locked right now. And uh, this lock works really well. So i just show you, it is open. And um, yeah, so see the key, it still works. So, very high quality lock, very well built, pretty heavy, and fun lock to pick. So, uh, there's the key again. So, if you see one of these, go ahead and buy it. This one cost me 118 Hong Kong dollars. So, if you were to calculate that into Canadian dollars, that's apparently, uh, sorry, that's approximately 10 bucks or so. So, for, inv for the investor of 10 bucks, it's not bad at all. Um, this is decent for lockers and stuff like that. So, if you run into these, uh, they're not that hard to pick. And, uh, I recommend that if you see these for sale, 
buy them. They're absolutely great for learning. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and rate this. And, uh, as usual, keep this legal, please. And don't be posting random junk comments in the comment section. Thank you very much.